So just to remind you what we have learned so far. Um, for example, we learned that 3x squared plus 7x plus 5 is in standard form because it goes biggest exponent, smallest, smallest. This is a trinomial. There are three parts to it. The degree is 2 because this degree is 2, this one degree is 1, this degree is 0, and we use the biggest degree. So standard form goes from bigger and it gets smaller, smaller, smaller. This is of minor importance. This is of minor importance. Um, then we did learn, we did learn um, how to add two polynomials. x squared plus 5x minus 7 added to negative 8x squared minus 3x plus 10. And when there are two polynomials being added, being added, you simply rewrite them with change in nothing. 3x squared plus 5x minus 7 plus negative or minus. Either way, I'll go with plus negative. Doesn't matter. Again, unchanged, unchanged. And then I'm going to do some miraculous um, um, smart board things is then we combine like terms. We combine like terms. Those will be combined. The, you please go ooh for the people at home and say like ooh, look at how good he is on the smart board. He should be giving lessons. All right. And we combine the ones that have been um, colored with the same color. Bradley Rassler, you gained three pounds over the break and then lost five. Oh, I gave away the answer. You lost eight. Where are you on your wrestling? Pounds. Yeah. Negative five X squared. Um, Ash, you've been given five dollars and somebody steals three of it. How much do you have? Two. Two. And you have negative seven twitches, and you get ten twitches. Did I use that correctly? You have, you lost seven followers because you were bad, and then you were amazing and got ten followers. Where are you? You have a net. How many gain? You've gained. You lost seven. You gained ten. You've gained three overall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When I was when I was younger, like like this was twitching, like you know you sort of have a little move. That was twitch, but now it's a video game. Okay, excellent. It's a video game, people at home. This is what we learned. All right, just short pre-review. All right, then when we subtracted polynomials, um, what happened? I'm going to do just a, a small subtraction of polynomials. And to subtract polynomials. The first one with nothing in front of it, we write it down untouched. And then the negative goes times the 3, make it negative 3x. Negative times negative makes that a plus 9. And then we go ahead and once again, the things that are common will be combined. And the things that are common will be combined. You had 7, you lost 3, you still have 4. You lost three, you gained nine, you're up six. So that was that was some of the start of this of this unit. This, I believe, for people in algebra two, um, is stuff they should be able to be extremely successful in. All right, then we did multiply. Um, the ones that got a little stinky were ones like this. Um, And it's the distributive property where the outside gets multiplied by everything. And so I'm going to draw a little arrow that you don't have to draw, but I'm going to draw that. So here's what we do. We multiply regular 5 times regular 2 is regular 10. We use our exponent rules. x to the second times x to the first is x to the third. y to the first, y to the first is y to the second. 
right, this, air, this arrow does not need to be drawn, but you take the first one and you take it times the outside. Regular five times regular seven is regular 35. X squared times X is X to the third using exponent rules. And the Y, there's no multiplication, so the Y just comes along for fun and just stays right along there. And finally, you don't have to draw this arrow, but you take everything outside times the end. And I've got regular five times negative three, positive times negative, and then x squared just comes along, and y squared, or y just comes along. We combine like terms, the x's, the y's, the exponents have to be identical. They have to be identical, and none of them are identical. We're done. All right, there were some other multiplications that took place, but that's the start of that. And then yesterday, then yesterday, we started doing division, and I'm going to go um, 4x plus 7 goes into 20x to the second. Um, let me see here. All right, and this is what happened yesterday. You could do work in your head or you could go to the side. But the key we're looking at is this, is we are taking the negative 4x and saying how many times to multiply to get to that 20x. And the number part is 4 times 5, and then we have an x times x. Cool, cool, cool. Then you could go to the side if you would like and write 5x times 4x plus 7 and do distributive property. You absolutely may do that. Or you may do it sort of this way, sort of in your head. 5x ooh, times 4x is 20x squared. 5x times 7 is 35x. Draw a line. Now, here's the key to success. Write the word minus. 20x squared minus 20x squared is nothing. Now I'm going to be careful. I'm going to go to the side. Negative x minus positive 35x. You lose one pound, you lose 35 pounds. Oh my goodness, you've lost. 36 pounds, so negative 36x, drop the plus 7 down. Now I'm trying to get the 4x <clears throat> to multiply. What multiplies to be negative 36x? And that would be 4 times negative 9. Negative 9 4 is negative 36x. Negative 9 times 7 is negative 63. Write the word minus. Negative 36 minus negative 36 is obviously 0. I'm going to go to the side and write 7. Minus negative 63 plus plus, we get a 70. And that remainder gets written as this. Plus 70 over, it's called the divisor. And you write that number there on the bottom. And that's what happened yesterday. That probably needs more practice. And that is a brief review of what has happened so far with all these days off, my days off, e-learning days, snow days, 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 days.